Residents of Lagos and Lekki have been left devastated after the heavy rainfalls and Thursday morning flooded their homes and destroyed their properties in the process. From the information guarded, the flood has caused difficulty in movement of people and vehicles. Cars, container shops, motorcycles, among others, were seen floating in the water. Joining us to discuss the impact of the rains and the different in Lagos and different coastal areas in the country is an environmentalist, Desmond Maje Kodumi. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. The rains are here and the season comes with its attendant pains and losses. What is your take on our level of preparedness as a people? Well, luckily in Lagos, at the helm of the Ministry of Environment, is a very seasoned administrator, uh, Tunji Belu. He has been in the environment of Lagos for a long time, right at the inception of the Fashola regime. So he's very aware of the problems. And I think this is one of the reasons why just recently we've seen um, Lagos State teams going around clearing the drains of debris and so on and so forth. Because, you know, obviously, if your drains are blocked, the water will have nowhere to go. However, however, because of climate change, what we're getting in Lagos now is actually a little bit less rainfall in terms of the overall volume, but we're getting far heavier rains. That is, you can get almost a week's rain can fall in the period of just a few hours. And that overwhelms systems. So the systems that are in place need to be developed far better and far more protective measures need to be taken. We need dikes. We need seawalls. We need special drainage pits that will, will hold excessive flooding of water and particularly we need to stop destroying the natural systems because god in his infinite mercy and wisdom has created a perfect system in place and we have mangroves we have natural systems green spaces these absorb the rainwater so we need to stop destroying those and try to regenerate a lot more green spaces in lagos very quickly so while we may not rule out sad occurrences every year, how can government better mitigate the impact of this rainfall? It's not just Lagos. Lagos may have some an edge, but what about the other coastal communities? Excellent question. It's a global problem, and we need to wake up to the realities of the magnitude of the problem, but particularly the urgency of the problem. The World Meteorological Organization, the International Panel for Climate Change under the auspices of the United Nations, the American Meteorological Organization, they're all saying the same thing. That, hey, we're causing too much uh, aggravation in the atmospheric gas balances. Far too much of these greenhouse gases are being pumped into the atmosphere and we're provoking global warming, which is now bringing down this climate change, which is bringing about these very vicious storm patterns. It hasn't got really catastrophic yet, but if we allow it to continue this way, it is gonna get unmanageable. And not just unmanageable, but unstoppable. So we need to rally together with the global community and they're already talking of the solutions. The obvious one, the obvious one, you know, is, you know, is stop the pollution. We are polluting our atmosphere with poisonous, toxic gases, gases that kill, kill people. Do you know that, that almost 10 times more people died in 2019 from air pollution than have died from this COVID pandemic? Oh, and 2018, similar case. But apart from that, the air pollution is causing the climate change, as we said. So, you know, the obvious one, stop the pollution, stop the poison. But also, how do we suck out the gases that are there, especially the CO2? Well, there's a wonderful solution, and it's called trees. Trees, 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 and more trees. We need to have multi-million, even billion tree planting projects. 
federal government have already agreed that they're going to try to plant 25 million trees this year, which is very good. We are encouraging them. These trees should be economic trees, trees with economic value that bear fruit and so on. So this is also part of the uh, agriculture spearhead. In fact, I'm going to use a very controversial phrase. Aside from the government's effort, what about the people? Um, th there were videos on the screen while you were talking showing um, streets without drainage, people, um, it's on the screen now, um, buildings that are submerged in, in the rain. Um, what responsibility can we take on to help in this fight as a people while the government does theirs? No, this is an excellent question. It really is down to us. And it's a matter of our hearts and our minds. We need to realize that we are custodians of creation. And this is scriptural knowledge. It's there in the major scriptures. It's there in the Holy Quran. It's there in the Holy Bible. There's no ambiguity whatsoever. You know, the Quran says we are caliphs, caretakers. The Bible makes it very clear that after the creation, God Almighty said, yeah, this is good. His creation is very, very good. And then he put man in charge of it, you know, so there's no ambiguity there. If you love God, then you certainly got to start loving the creation. So get that into our minds. Let's stop doing things that are damaging the creation. But the obvious one, the obvious one is just throwing litter anyhow. We need to get out there and admonish each other. If we see anybody dropping just one little bag of plastic, we need to tell them, stop doing that in a polite way, but firm. Because look, a couple of children just died because of this flooding. So by throwing litter, we could be responsible for maybe the death of more children. No, we don't want to be responsible for that. So we really, really got to get onto each other's case and say, stop being irresponsible with the way that you dispose your litter. And it starts in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to separate your litter. Put the plastics in one bag, put the biodegradables in another. And then the waste disposal people need to pick it up in a, in a good manner so that it's separated right from the beginning. That's right. the first phase. And the other, other one is everybody got to go green. <laughs> Uh, well, that is going to be tricky considering the way we build uh, these days, not only in Lagos, but across uh, the country. Um, away from that, that's a conversation we will have when we have a little more time on the news. We are in a pandemic and experts, the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 has just said that they are concerned that the cold weather will lead to an increase in the COVID-19 infections across uh, the country. What, in your opinion, as an environmentalist, what are the steps, immediate steps that should be taken to help in some ways to mitigate uh, the numbers that we expect to come? Well, I think this is actually a ball that is now being thrown back into the court of government. Uh, unfortunately, people have a deep mistrust of government, understandably, because over the years, over the decades, government has really let us down. You know, there's a whole litany of things. Hey, why are we using generators today in a country that's full of oil and gas, etc., 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 healthcare services, you know, okay. But for now, government needs to get out there and advocate. The National Orientation Agency needs to persuade people in whatever way it can, using wonderful media organizations like yours, going out in the streets and campaigning. And what are they going to be telling people? Wear your face mask. Wear your face mask. And when you dispose of the face mask, dispose of it environmentally friendly way. And then also separate. Why is it till today you still see the small buses are jam-packed, the drivers of the buses are not wearing face masks? If the orientation agency has not been successful. And yet, when it comes to political campaigns, oh, they can be very successful. They'll go out into the nooks and crannies and persuade people, vote, 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 vote. This is the time now to save lives. This is the time to fulfill the responsibility that has been put on their shoulders. Because, hey, guess what? It bounces back. Whatsoever a man saw, so surely shall he reap. You've got a responsibility Thank you. to Thank enlighten you the people so to do the much. right thing. Thank you so much for your insights on the news.